OK, we're just going to have a look at how you can use Affinity Photo's stacking feature to simulate long exposure photography. Now, this does require shooting with a certain technique in order to get the images suitable for this type of stacking. So just to show you, I'll go in and open just a few of these files that we've got here. OK, and if we just have a, a brief cursory glance over them, you'll see they're all very similar. And that's because they were shot using the burst mode on the camera. Now, you don't actually have to use a burst mode. You just have to have a fairly steady hand so that your composition throughout each image doesn't really change that much. So you'll notice here there's barely any change in the background. So the only thing that's moving from image to image is the water here. OK, so let's go ahead and put these into a stack and see what happens. So we can go to File, New Stack, add your images here, and I'll just click drag over all of them. Choose Open. They're all there. It's set to automatically align them, which is fine. Click OK. And after a short while, it's aligned all the images and put them into a stack for us. So straight away, we can see a bit of a difference in the water here. And I wouldn't go so far as to say we're achieving, but we're certainly simulating a long exposure look to this image. So if we just expand the stacked group here, you can see all the individual images as layers that make up the stack. So to isolate one of these layers, and this is a good tip in general for workflows in photo, you can simply Alt or Option click a layer like so. So then that is one image within the stack. Uh, let's have a look at another one down here. So again, we can Alt or Option click. OK, so we can kind of get an idea of what's going on here. If we click away at any point, so we can click back on the live stack group layer here, we'll return to our composited image. So something else we can do is also change the stack operator. So here we're using a median stack. We can instead change this to mean. And we'll get, it's subtle, but we get a slightly different result. So it's really a case of experimenting and see which result you prefer. We can try the other operators, but mean and median are going to be the two that get us the most successful results in this case. I mean, maximum has quite a distinct look. It uses the maximum RGB values from each image, but it's not quite the long exposure effect we're after. Like I said, though, experimentation is key. If you find it works for you, then go ahead and do it. So there we go. Just a very quick look at one use of stacking in Affinity Photo for simulating this long exposure look. I mean, it's a very handy technique. Uh, typically for long exposure photography, you'll need some kind of stabilization, which is usually a tripod. And if you're shooting in good light, you'll typically also need neutral density filters in order to reduce the amount of light entering the lens, thus allowing you to use a lower shutter speed and blur the motion of the water. If you can't or won't carry that kind of equipment around on a regular basis and you come across a scene like this and you decide you want that long exposure look, you can simply take a series of individual shots where the water is moving between each shot, then stack them together in post and achieve that type of effect. So there we go. Hope that was useful for you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask on the Affinity forums and don't forget to check out the other video tutorials. Thank you for watching.